Uh oh. Your army was spotted. Okay, so I can decline attack. He'll probably attack me anyway. Let's try declining and see what he does. Also, what stance is it going to put me in at the end of this? He changed to ambush stance. Ah, uh, crap. That put me in normal, so now I'm going to take attrition damage. Uh, sure. Just some random neutral beast man just asked me for a peace tree. That's fine. Oh, let's see. Okay, so an eclipse is happening, so we get a whole bunch of bonuses, and then we can choose one final bonus. Either melee attack, double income from raiding, campaign movement speed, or casualty replenishment. I think we're going to take movement. Field, challenge completed. There's more movements. Passive ability, primal fury. Uh, let's see, strong survive. Dread, let's get dread gain increase. All right, so how big is this army? We have met before. That's a full stack of something. Okay. All right, well, this is a full town. Oh my, there's a what? No, no, we can win that, surely. Uh, I guess the mortars would be behind walls. And we don't have flyers in this army. Maybe I should go hit something else. And I can't flank while they're behind walls. Okay, all right, probably more trouble than it's worth. If I, if, uh, if this is the other army with, uh, like, Malagor and stuff, uh, I, I could just fly over and deal with that, but it's not. It is not. It's, oh, we can just barely get across the line. Okay, so we'll just raid this guy with him. Alright, speaking of Malagor. Let's see, what do we want to do with you? So he should be able to recruit some big bad stuff. This is where I got them. I can recruit gore herds. I guess it's from the ritual stone. All right. Uh, let's see. Let's get Sigor. Uh, do I want to put an inc if we're gonna sit still for two turns? Do I want to put an incarnate elemental in his army? I could uh, I could chill for three turns and get a uh, Gorgon, but that involves three turns of just standing still. Is it worth it? Is it worth it? Or basically be like this turn plus two more. I'm not really using the Tusk or Chariots. Let's toss them. We'll, we'll move those to another army. Get the Elemental. And... We don't need five packs of Wolves here. We'll toss one of those. And get... The Gorgon. I think we could save the other good stuff for a different army. All right, let's go over to Wind Shark here. And mess with me. What? that guy's chilling there. So let me see if I make that a uh, shrine. Oh, it hits the same area that we had before. That's not helpful. I mean, we can hit it just to mess with the guy, but. All right, so this one also hits this area up here. 
So I guess if anywhere, I should do that one. Okay, and... Let's do that. And he needs better units, so we'll get that so that he can get better units on next turn. Alright, Malagor's just chilling. Let's go over to Torox. Torox got really messed up because they found him and then moved him into a stance where he was getting attrition. Which is absolutely not what we wanted. So... How to handle this. How much movement does he have? Okay, it doesn't look like he can make it. Assuming that's accurate. Alright, so we're gonna move over here a bit, and we're in uh, encampment stance. And I think that's all we can do right now. Unfortunately, when we cashed out that thing earlier, we were just short of that. Can't mess with this right now. Oh, that's right, the Jabber Slythe. I forgot about that. Oh, well. Okay. Mm See, new Horde armies are raised with Horde encampment building level 2. Lord and heroes are recruited level 5. Um, they're at 2,000 red right now. 2,000. Someone recommended Zangors a little while ago. They gain strength with nearby allies or enemies cast spells. Don't forget the Herdstone upgrades. I looked at the Herdstone upgrades, and honestly, they just they didn't look that appealing to me. They like they didn't they just didn't seem that good. I could be wrong, but they just didn't look that good to me. Shardstone Amulet gives Vanguard deployment. Distorted reality. Aura of Madness. Wow, cause fear, cause terror, 10% fizz resist, and aura of madness that does damage around them. Wow. That's pretty crazy. Just put that on some tanky thing. Hmm. All right, maybe up the up Minotaurs with the intent to add more to Torox's army as soon as we're able to do so. Which, uh, can he make the building for that yet? No, he needs to be tier three. See, he needs more growth. So he's not there yet. All right. Let's see how that goes. Let's see. Mm -mm -mm. Feels like the Hearthstones are more geared towards setting, st standing up a new army faster. You don't get access to everything, but you can get access to bulk outside of their core faction mechanic, obviously. Right. Uh-oh. 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 Uh, hmm. Decisive defeat, huh? All right. <laughs> Let's try to retreat and see where it puts us. Oh, that was a pretty good distance for a retreat. Usually it doesn't move that far. I wonder if I could come kind of turn around now and ambush the guy that's in Force March. Uh, this guy wants a peace treaty, and you know what? I'm not pursuing him, so sure, I'll take the gold. Did she just destroy that ward stone and I didn't even get to do a battle? What was that? What the hell? Okay. Let's see, do I have any replenishment from this yet? No. Uh, horde growth isn't high enough to get replenishment. Hmm. Do not. So if I go to, like, raiding... No, we do still recover health while raiding. Why? I don't actually know. 
All right. Might have to just start raiding my way eastward, getting health and money as we go. Okay. All right. Uh, this is the one. Yeah, two more turns. Okay, and Morgar. All right. Ooh, 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 options, options, options. All right, so kind of tempting to turn around, try to hit this guy, and try to ambush him. Hey, Mug Chad. Hey, Jackals. How you doing? All right, so it did successfully ambush. It did do that. Um, they got a lot of nasty stuff though. Um, it's an ambush though. Feeling pretty good about this. All right, so I'm gonna do fight battle. So, I'm pretty sure the wolves can tear apart their mortar teams before they can even fire a shot. Because they're going to be on the little uh, the ambush pathing, path And we're going to be sneaking up behind them. At Muck, you should have combined two wolves earlier for insta region. Oh, yeah. If you've got extra recruitment slot, you, you could totally do that. Um, okay. So, yeah. Right here. Mortars, mortars, cannons. Yeah. So we're just basically going to throw the wolves into their back line. And just absolutely wreck the back line. That's the first thing. I'm going to throw this guy right at their lord if possible. And all these friends here. I could have them hit from the other side try to sandwich. And do that. Alright. Yeah. Alright. This is the thing that destroys ammo in an area. Yeah, that is nasty. I have never seen an ammo destruction spell be that effective. That's absolutely bonkers. One, two, three, four, five units lost like 75% of their ammunition. Also, all their cannons and mortars are ineffective now. Okay, one group left. That is absolutely bonkers. Like, um, God, I don't even know many factions that have a destroy the targets ammo type thing. Um, Wood Elves have one, but it's like only on some lords and it's single target. Alright, other than those guys over there on horseback, which actually one of them have pistols and the other has grenades, so if I run at them with the wolves, they will probably shred the wolves. Other than them, we have wrecked most of this army. Are they gonna come back or just leave them out? They might just leave them out. That, wow. Wow, that was a almost flawless victory. We almost took like no damage there. Again, uh, due to my own in uncertainty of the rules, I'm just going to follow these and finish off as many as I can. Okay, I think that's everyone we're gonna catch. All right. Yeah, dude, look at our health bars. <laughs> dude, their cannons and mortars were instantly nullified. That was glorious. That was so good. Victory pets. <laughs> All right. Uh, 
Rage, Replenish, or Favor. Um, I really don't want to lose... Well, I guess we can lose a little, it's fine. I'll get the Favor. Okay. Enemy killed, enemy killed. You get a Sword of Strife. Okay. Alright. Morgur... Let's see, let's get, there's a thing over here, here it is, increase ambush success chance, I want that. Okay. Alright, we got another ambush on this guy. This one could be spicier. He's got uh, the cannon. I'll use the same strategy with the wolves coming up from behind them to try to take that out. But I'm a little worried about all that cavalry. But there's going to be no better opportunity than this where I can completely surround them right from the beginning to try to handle it. There's not going to be a better chance. So if this doesn't handle it, then he's not going to be able to handle it. Okay. Um, Alright, so there's the cannons in the back. And also, yeah, a bunch of their knights and stuff. And a bunch of dudes up here. Oh, long rifles. These guys, we need to pick them off too. These guys, if you look at their range, gargantuan. They're basically snipers. Absolutely epic range. Okay, and... Okay. Alright. Ammo spell. All right, waiting to see. There we go. Got the skull. Good. All right. I do not think wolves are going to do well against these, but I'm hoping that they can just pitch in with the pile here, and I'm hoping they will be helpful. Um, my original. Okay, you know what? Let's just go ahead and throw these in there. My original goal with him was to have him go for the enemy lord, but that just did not work out that way. Feeling pretty good about this battle. Speeding it up a bit. Uh, Ungor Herd is getting pretty low health. There we go. Awesome. Just hitting what I can. Some of them are absolutely going to get off the map. I don't know how much difference it makes putting um, armor piercing weapon damage banner on a wolf that has no armor piercing. It feels like it makes them, you know, decently effective against everything. Could be in my head, but it feels like a good combination. Like, they, there's, there's like 80 wolves in each pack, so if they're all getting, going from zero armor piercing damage to five, it adds up. At least that's how I view it. Mm, 
Jackals is doing good. Had a tiring but good day yesterday. Had to go to the hospital for lab, so DR will refill a prescription. Did a lot of walking around since I was in ICU. Uh, QB that actually did walk instead of being pushed. Uh, turned it off. You two tanks all good. There we go. Oh, wow. Sounds like you had a busy day. Uh, let's see. Replenishment. Yeah, I'll take the replenishment this time. Okay. Call to the Shadow Grave. That's done. All right, cool. So, we took out both of those armies and almost took no damage. That was fantastic. And what is Pelt of the Shadow Grey? Yeah, that's fine. We'll give that to uh, Crimson Cow, if you're still in the chat. Giving you a new outfit. Some new duds. Uh, let's see. Could hit the elves. Not sure if I should. The hard part right now... Uh, and... Yeah, I can't go through there unless I do that tunneling thing, which I can't do this turn. Alright, we're just gonna raid there, and we'll move him on the next turn. Uh, okay, Windshark. Who is over here? Um, let's see, if I take that one, there is some stuff to raid nearby. Assuming he can take Barak Mar. Nah. Let's try that out. Crushing defeat. Crushing defeat? Really? Mm. You sure it'd be crushing defeat? Let's try it out. Pin for you on YouTube. Oh, thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Assuming this is still Malagor. It is, in fact, Malagor. You don't recognize some jackals? Oh my gosh. You and he go way back. Treating him like this. Alright, so this is just a garrison, but this is also my worst army. Alright, so this wall, uh, this gate right here, over in the corner, has no guards or anything. So we're gonna get ready to go harass that. Uh, Alright, start battle. Over here. Dogs go that way. Harpies go over here. Actually, harpies could just go straight for that stuff. Sending the dogs around to flank. Harpies have already broken one of the groups of archers. They're doing fantastic. Wait, what is this? What is this? What is this? You should be in group one. Get over here, please. Harpies are just going to be on standby in case more archers get up on the walls. Dogs are chewing. We're using the newfound dog power to chew through a gate in record time for some insane reason. We're going to use that over there. Where are these archers at? Let's move them over here. Uh, actually, those aren't archers, so we'll just ignore those. Need to keep an eye on them. We can't let those dogs get surrounded. Okay, that gate is broken. Okay, they've got that. Go over here and take that supply depot. Okay, what is that? Uh, group four is going to be archers. All right. Push in there. Harpies, go get that. Group four, get up on those walls. Dogs have the supply camp. Excellent. Dogs, go take that.
Well, we are getting quite a clog here. I'm really glad they don't have any AoE targeted on the door. Let's do a Pit of Shades right here. Let's see if he gets out of it in time. Mm -hmm. I don't know if Seth is in the chat, but this is the biggest hit his uh, unit has ever done. Check on the dogs. Okay, they've capped that. Right, let's start moving them over there. Where's the harpies at? Uh, can the Harpies take this tower out, I wonder? Okay. I don't know if these dogs can take out these trolls. We're looking at them, maybe. Okay, Harpies have taken that out. What is the fastest way for them to get up there? Apparently this way, they've decided. What are those really fast units? Oh, those are centricores, okay. Uh, not good, not good, not good, not good. Come over here. Dogs were getting caught. Don't want that. Go hit something else. You guys have been doing great. Dogs have been doing an excellent job at running around and just dismantling their base. The strategy of having the dogs break through another door and just run around and cause an absolute ruckus that I believe I first started using like a week ago has been serving me very well since then. Like, look at this. I've got almost every single point of theirs captured right now. Mm, where's this node? Oh, it's over there. Okay. Hitting this little breaks. Okay, that one's broken. Hit that one. There we go. Nice. Considering it said this was going to be, like, absolutely a defeat for me, very happy with these results. Very happy. We took a little bit of damage, but I think we uh, used our troops quite well there. I am. So, I, I get so much joy from having like a successful flanking attack happen. That whoa! Look at that bug! Oh my goodness! <laughs> That's, there's like a terrain glitch here. <laughs> Total War is a completely bug-free game with no problems. It's like the z-axis there is too high. What is that heresy? It's flying doggos. Everybody thinks they'll survive an attack from chaos till the flying doggos show up. <sighs> hey, Muck, you've been stuck with me since Sunday, May 23rd, 2021. Three years? I would I would have guessed, like... We're, I would have guessed we were coming up on one year, Jackals. Time flies while you're having fun, I guess. Or getting your pens deleted. All right, that's done. Okay, Razor Stone. 